Uh, okay, so normally um, we do our videos from back in the studio, uh, but this one, as you'll find out in a couple of minutes, is a little bit different. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that you'll just indulge me with this the way that we're doing this one. Um, something's been going on in my life that I wanted to share, uh, and maybe by talking about it with you guys, there are other people that have been going through the same thing. Maybe. Your comments below, you'll tell me, oh yeah, I know, I feel, I've been feeling the same way lately. I'm glad someone finally talked about it on YouTube. So maybe by doing it this way, I'll have a support system and I'll hear back from you guys. So just for a little bit of context, my whole life, I've used both uh, Mac and PC. Usually I'd use the Mac for my day-to-day -day stuff and PCs for gaming. And I, I've built PCs in the past and I love the experience of building, but my day-to-day -day tasks have always been involved with Apple products and, you know, living my life on a Mac for the most part. Lately, I'm, things have just been a little bit different. Things have been a little strange. Every, every time, every, ever since Windows 10 has come out and I pass by a Windows 10 computer, I've been starting to feel something. I don't know what that something is. It just feels different. Something in me feels different. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is something I should explore. I mean, all my friends are still using their Macs and I have my iPhone, my iPad, my, my Mac mini and everything has been fine. But the way that Microsoft has been building their ecosystem, making one unified operating system that'll work in tablet mode with their surface line of products, right up to desktop mode with the high-end PCs, it just seems like they really kind of get what people want right now. And as good as Apple is, and Apple is great, they're still keeping their iOS and their desktop OS X software very, very separate. And I understand why. I'm sure they want to sell you an iPad and an iPhone and a computer. And if you had one that did everything, maybe you wouldn't buy as many things. So I kind of get the, the business behind it. But I, I feel like I'm starting to become Windows 10 curious. I pass by those machines. I see people able to go back and forth from tablet mode to desktop mode to play their high-end games while at the same time using all the tiles to, to keep all their daily tasks organized. And I mean, I have, I have two kids, man. They're always, uh, hey, hey, dad, show everybody your, uh, your iPhone or show everybody uh, your laptop, your Mac mini, and they're so proud. But I feel like on the inside, that's not me anymore. I feel like I'm lying to them. You know, uh, my, my Mac doesn't play nice with my Xbox One. Something inside of me says maybe I want to try that too. You know, everyone else seems to be having so much fun with it. It seems so smart. It seems so natural now. When I pass by a Windows 10 PC, it just feels right to me. I mean, my family's still using their Macs. My friends are still using their Macs. So I don't know who to talk to about this. And I don't know if this is something that I should explore. All I know is that... Um, most of my family is asleep. I think my wife is still awake. I'm not ready to tell this. I'm not ready to have this talk with her. Bottom line is, I'm becoming Windows 10 curious. I'm not so sure that's a bad thing. All right.